Hello, I am Dr. Shubhra and this video is about growth rotations of mandible. Studying growth was possible after the discovery of cephalostat which enabled precise reproducible head orientation and control magnification. Implants were used to study the growth changes and growth rotation. Rotation of mandible was observed by relative orientation of cranial base, implant line and mandibular line. The cranial base is represented by the costal line. The implant line denotes the core of mandible formed by drawing a line between two implants. The mandibular line is drawn as the tangent to the lower border of mandible. This is how the tracing would look like. Growth rotational changes can be seen by superimposing two tracings of lateral cephalograms taken at different time points with some interval between them, say for example, 6 months or 1 year. These are two tracings of lateral cephalograms taken at two time points, T1 with white tracing and T2 with red tracing. Now superimposing on cranial base as reference. By superimposing on the cranial base, angular changes, also known as rotational changes, can be seen in implant line and mandibular line relative to cranial base. The angular changes in the implant line relative to the cranial base has been called internal rotation by Prophet, true rotation by Solo and Houston, and total rotation by Bjork. The angular changes in the mandibular line related to the cranial base has been called total rotation by Prophet, apparent rotation by Solo and Houston, and matrix rotation by Bjork. Again, let's consider two tracings at two time points T1 and T2, and this time superimposing on the implant line as the reference line. When superimposed on the implant line, representing the core of mandible, angular changes can be appreciated in the mandibular line. The angular changes in the mandibular line related to the core of mandible has been called external rotation by profit, angular remodeling of lower border by Solo and Houston, and intramatrix rotation by Bjork. Summarizing the content till now, the angular changes in the mandibular core related to the cranial base has been called total rotation by Bjork, true rotation by Solo and Houston, and internal rotation by Prophet. The angular changes in mandibular plane related to the cranial base has been called matrix rotation by Bjork, apparent rotation by Solo and Houston, and total rotation by Prophet. And lastly, Angular changes in the mandibular plane relative to the core of mandible has been called intramatrix rotation by Bjork, angular remodeling of the lower border by Solo and Houston, and external rotation by Prophet. As we see here, the same phenomenon has been given different names by different scientists. Now let's consider internal rotation which is the rotational change in the core of mandible related to the cranial base. Prophet divided internal rotation in two components, matrix rotation and intramatrix rotation. To understand the concept of matrix and intramatrix rotation as presented by Prophet, we need to understand the rotational changes in the core of mandible around the condyle and the body of mandible. For that, we draw another line from the center of condyle to the core of mandible. This is how the tracing would look like. Again, we have tracings at two time points, T1 and T2. Now, superimposing on the cranial base, rotation of the mandibular core observed around the condyle has been called matrix rotation by Prophet. Again, superimposing on cranial base as reference. 
Rotation of mandibular core observed within the body of mandible has been called intramatrix rotation by Profit. Profit showed that the average internal rotation is around 15 degrees from 4 years of age to adulthood. Of the total, 25% is due to matrix rotation and 75% due to intramatrix rotation. Note that the internal rotation is in anteriorly upwards or forward direction. The average rotation of mandibular plane related to cranial base is around 4 degrees from 4 years of age to adulthood. Note that the rotation of mandibular plane is in anteriorly upwards or forward direction, similar to the mandibular core, though less in magnitude. The average rotation of mandibular plane relative to the core of mandible is around 11 degrees, which is due to the surface changes. Note that the rotation of mandibular plane is in anteriorly downwards or backward direction. Hence, the true rotation as called by Solo and Houston or internal rotation by profit is much more than the apparent rotation or total rotation which can be observed from outside due to compensatory angular remodeling of lower border or external rotation. Considering rotational change of mandibular core relative to the cranial base as X, rotational change of mandibular plane related to the cranial base as Y, and rotational change of mandibular plane related to the core of mandible as Z, we get a general equation Y is equal to X minus Z. Applying the general equation y is equal to x minus z, Bjork's matrix rotation becomes equivalent to total rotation minus intramatrix rotation. Solo and Houston's apparent rotation becomes equal to total rotation minus angular remodeling of lower border. And Profit's total rotation becomes equivalent to internal rotation minus external rotation. Thanks for showing interest in the topic and watching the video. Feel free to write to me at admin at the rate Bye bye for now.